Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video, we are going to be talking about inviting in the third and what the third actually means. So, if you're not familiar with it, um, the third is an idea of when you're in a relationship with someone and you're a couple, there's always a third out there. And the third could be, you know, someone who you get your morning coffee from who you find is really cute. Or it could be someone who you occasionally sleep with outside of your partnership or your marriage. It could be the idea of your partner flirting with someone or getting hit on. The third is basically that external player that keeps you on your toes and helps initiate desire with your partner because you're not their only option. The third means that your partner, yes, they're with you, but there are still other options and choices out there. Oftentimes, relationships can struggle when we deny our partner access to the third. And the reasons why sometimes we deny our partner access to the third is because of fear. It's actually always rooted in fear. Fear that our partner is going to leave us, that they're not going to love us anymore, that they're going to choose someone else or someone different. And so we let our anxieties play up so much that we start to deny our partner access to that. So we say, you know, you can't have friends of the opposite sex. You can't go to the movies with this person. Don't go on trips without me. We make all of these rules and we try to control a situation, but by controlling the situation and trying to pretend that the third doesn't exist when it inevitably will always exist and something that you kind of just need to accept, we suffocate our partners um, and we create an environment where they're more likely to actually go jump out and do that and cheat or be unfaithful or flirt and acknowledge the third than if we in openly invite it into our relationships and we use it as a tool to help spark desire and to be honest with one another. Also to keep each other interested in, and not lazy in our partnerships and our relationships. If you know that your partner has other options just like you do, you're going to work harder at your partnership because you're not going to be complacent about it. So the third is a really, really powerful tool and I encourage you to think about ways that you can incorporate it into your relationship without like suffocating or pretending it doesn't exist out of fear. Obviously, if you're in a relationship where you feel like you can't trust your partner and there's a lack of honesty and respect, that's something that you need to work on with them first before inviting this third in, right? So couples therapy and talking about that and really thinking to yourself too, is this a person who I wanna be with if I can't trust them and be open and honest? Because the third is gonna be there regardless and you have to acknowledge it and by acknowledging it, it actually may help increase the desire and satisfaction in your relationship because again, it keeps you on your toes. I encourage you to create rules around it, especially if it's something that you are going to be leaving your partnership for. So if it's someone who you might be able to have a sexual experience with or flirt with, making sure that those rules are established in, within your partnership so you know you're respectful and, and trust is always there. But allowing you, yourself to get playful with this and seeing what it's like to you know acknowledge this and see how that might help spark desire in your partnership. So as I said, the third is going to be there regardless. Oftentimes we don't acknowledge it out of fear, um, but I highly recommend you think about ways that you can kind of bring it into your partnership, into your relationship um, to keep that spark and desire alive. Um, and if you're someone who has been controlling and trying to cut out those options, acknowledging why you might be wanting to control that narrative um, and you know trying to reestablish trust and honesty with your partner and let go of some of that control because inevitably that's what leads people you know to go off and do things that are hurtful and disrespectful or cheat or leave us is because we're trying to control something that is out of our control. So yeah, just something to think about. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or DM me at CBO Wellness. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps the channel and I'll see you for another video shortly.